Hey, King. I heard you wanted to talk to me. I did, James. First, I want to wish you a very, 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 very happy birthday. I appreciate your majesty. Thank, thank you very much, but, uh... Hey, did, did, did you just change your voice? It did, but it's best not to question why. But, uh, anyway, I have some bad news and some good news. You see, the bad news is... You're an idiot. Uh, for what? Because you got rid of the Hardcore Championship. What do you want me to say, King? Part of that was Deadly Anarchy's fault. Second, it was unsanctioned for crying out loud. None of it really mattered. Regardless, James, it still provided SSP with some incredible and some memorable moments. But now, that brings me to the good news. I have a birthday present just for you. You see that silver bag right there behind you? Go get it. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. The Infinite Multiversal Championship? D d d dude! Yes, James. I hereby dub you as the first ever Infinite Multiversal Champion. That belt is going to replace the hardcore title going forward into SSP's future. Mm -hmm. And unlike the hardcore title that was being defended here on SSP, this one will actually be sanctioned under SSP record. Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell me that I'm dealing with another 24-7 title rule holding this thing? <laughs> are, are those the freaking Infinity Stones? <sighs> King, what if someone snapped holding this thing? It won't work. No, 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 no. It, it will not work. What if I told you that that belt is a lie? What if I told you that the champion is not in 100% control? Okay, your highness. Please explain. So, do you remember that time that Thanos tried to interrupt the cringy mental musical? So I've been hearing everything that you have heard. After seeing everything that you have seen, who could really, 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 really possibly be a cringier singer than I? Thanos, get out of here! Damn! Well, when I snapped, Thanos didn't exactly just disappear into a cloud of smoke. No, 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 no. Thanos kind of turned into a belt. Yeah. And his Affinity Gauntlet, it got melted down and it turned into the front plate on the championship. And the stones, well, I got in contact with a very strange doctor who helped me gather the stones from different universes. And those particular stones on the belt, they give the championship its power to control the circumstances around the champion. So, let me break this down for you stone by stone so you can understand. The Space Stone gives the belt the ability to be defended anywhere possible. The Mind Stone can control any random person giving them the mental signal to try and go up to the championship. The Power Stone controls how much power the champion can have. It's a theory that the more the title gets successfully retained, the more powerful the champion becomes. The Soul Stone gives any random animal or object the ability to become champion. Basically, if you don't have a soul, winning the belt will give you one. But of course, if you didn't already have a soul before winning the belt, losing the belt would mean losing the soul as well. The Time Stone gives the belt its ability to be defended at any time. 
a reality stone creates an open invitation for any random person in the multiverse to come in from their own universe into ours, so they can make an attempt to become champions themselves. It also has the ability to spawn a rough from out of nowhere. And it's a theory that the reality stone can make the belted self change appearance. So, this here Thanos title doesn't really control everything? Well, not entirely. You see, the only thing the belt won't change is the champion's perseverance. Yeah, as champion, it is still your responsibility to successfully retain the title. However, the belt tries to make you do so. Yeah, I hope that helps. Okay, um, thanks for the gift, but I gotta go now. I'll talk to you later. Bye, James. Enjoy your towel ring, and I hope you have a very D.E.A. beautiful birthday. One hour later. Happy birthday, Jeff. Who said that? Who said that? It was me, friend. Over here. Oh, it's you. The Pillberry Doughboy. James, I heard today was your birthday, so I just knew that I had to do something special for you. I made you a piece of cake. Go ahead, try it, eat it up. Heck, don't mind if I do. If the Pillsbury Doughboy offers me a free cake, I better eat it. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is so good. Mmm. That <clears throat> was a really good cake, Pillsbury Doughboy. Boy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I you liked it. It was. Thank you. Thank you so much. That cake filled me up. I, I, I like feeling very, very sleepy. <laughs> you moron! I didn't bake that myself. Twas merely a honey bun with vanilla frosting and sleeping powder. But now. This is my shot. Time for me to take it. I need a ref. One, two, three. Yes, I'm the champion. Put me back on the table, please. Yes, it feels good to be the infinite multiversal champion, but geez, this belt is too big for me. I wish it was my size. There we go. That's better. Thank you, Reality Stone. <laughs> Later that same evening. Oh, 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 happy birthday to me. Oh, birthday sucky sucky. What the heck my belt? Doughboy. Happy birthday to frickin' me. <sighs>